Hey everybody, welcome back to Comment Commentary. This is the show where us, as the hosts of the SourceFed show that you watch so much, go ahead and we go through the comment sections and then we respond to you guys responding to the questions that we ask you at the end of the videos. I promise that that was a long, convoluted explanation <laughs> and it will get better as time goes on or it'll get longer. Cut to the 15 minute mark. Welcome back to the show. Uh, obviously you know that uh, the show is powered by you guys. We respond to all your comments, but we also talk about the fan art that you guys send us uh, either on Twitter or any other website that accepts hashtags with the hashtag <laughs> ComCom. You guys sent us, I'm going to say, seven times the amounts of drawings that were in the first uh, couple episodes. Here's one of Candace peeing in a corner. This is what Candace looks like every time she finishes the milk <laughs> in the break room. It I looks like you're giving a urine sample. I wasn't pissing in the kitchen. Am I right? Kitchen's only one toilet away from a bathroom. The sink is available. You say the sink is available? Mm -hmm. This one's <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> Selling sinks. <laughs> yeah, the sink is available. <laughs> What's that one? This one's my favorite. It just kind of looks like someone's doing this to handy. <laughs> Here's one of us on the couch. I like this one because it looks like we're all college roommates and we're forced to live together <laughs> and we're just trying to have a quiet Sunday and we only have this one couch and there's not a lot of personal space. You don't even have beds. So it's like, all right, no one talk to me for 10 minutes. I'm going to go on the left side of the couch. Yeah, you guys no can, one touch me. You guys can go do whatever you want. <laughs> like, okay, I guess the middle of the couch. <laughs> okay. Here's all three of us. I like this one because look how much emotion I have in my face. I look like I I'm even, I'm either oh. getting scalded by hot water or having a great time. <laughs> Who wants to talk about this photo of me? Why don't you do it because it's you. Well, there's a classic hand in the hair, very Avaline. You're always touching your head. I'm always touching my head. Thanks for this art. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. It's beautiful. You guys are talented as f And then the black screen with the title of the first video comes on now. The question was, what company do you hate the most? Mario. Mario? <laughs> It's Mario! <laughs> you know, the fight is whether or not to pronounce it Mario or Mario, but no one ever makes the Mario argument. Mario's several names, Burger King. They take like 20 minutes to get my food, and I'm the only one there. Dude, That's true. Here's the thing, though. Why are you going to Burger King? Mr. Chicken with Kachu chicken. said... We pronounce it chicken where I'm, <laughs> where I'm from. We pronounce that word chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mario. <laughs> I thought this video could use a little positivity, so I went ahead and made a list of the top 10 best breads. Here it is. <laughs> wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, please God know why. Wonder bread, wonder bread, brown breads. We have to introduce you to maybe a bakery or a delicatessen where you could yeah. try out all sorts of different breads because Wonder Bread is from a factory where yeah. they just press construction paper and sugar into something that you could spread peanut butter on. I feel like we should all suggest a bread from Mr. Uh, Kitchen with ketchup mm. to try out. I suggest, I recommend focaccia bread because it okay. has some like cheese on top, maybe some vegetables. I'm thinking a nice sourdough. Mm. I mm -hmm. love a good sourdough. Go ahead and try yourself a moist croissant. Ooh, a croissant. And this has been source-fed bread recommendation times. I feel like that would come up in cursive. I'm not the editor. I don't want to do with your like job a, for With you. like a dig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Mr. Smile says uh, Razor should be on the list. Their customer Sir Smiles. Sir Smiles. What did I say? You pronounced Mr. Smiles. Sir Mister? <clears throat> Sir Smile says Razor should be on the list. Their customer service is dog sh and their <laughs> overpriced products malfunction for no reason. What's Razor? Do Am things I... usually malfunction for Razor a Scooter? Are you just talking about Razors in general as a whole, all the companies? <laughs> are you talking about the gaming laptops that are very expensive and I uh, hear Phil has one of those? Are you talking about the gaming laptops that Candace rides around the office? Super fast. Are you talking about the gaming laptop that we all use to shave our faces with? Are you talking about the gaming laptop that I use to take old parking stickers off of my windshield? Who's next? Are you talking about gaming laptops that you used to use when you were a kid that were really skinny and there was like a hot pink one? It was a phone? Did you use? <laughs> Are you talking about the gaming laptop? 
Are you talking about <laughs> gaming laptop Ramon from the WWF in nineteen ninety six? Your references are so niche. <laughs> well, I get them, therefore and I'm entertained. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I don't understand ninety percent of Mike's humor. That's okay. Or We're thirty years up. apart. I would just next video is about a stress ball for your vagina. <laughs> the only uh, part of this sentence that I know about are stress balls. Somebody else want to take it from here? Yeah, you know I know about it. vaginas? Okay. I know what kegels are, but I don't know how to do them. Septic and Matt did a video that is, what's in Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina? And I guess, from what we understand, Gwyneth Paltrow is shoving this jade egg up her vagina that's supposed to be like you know, enhance and help your spirit, and that it's also supposed to tighten the Strength muscles down the muscles. There. Thomas Getter said, I almost threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Lasagna says, don't put and leave porous objects in your body, period, for fuck's sake. I think if you have, if you do Kegels and you got strong vagina muscles, you're less likely to grow old and then just pee when you cough and sneeze. Oh, that's fun. This one, uh, we did a video on the 23rd called Fun with Alternative Facts. That was right after the inauguration. That was a very small, tiny little party that the president had uh, that was smaller than all the other presidential parties. And they got real mad at it and they lied about the figures and like people showing up. Like they think people care about that and uh, not the fact that they're just uh, lying to the American people. But uh, then eventually uh, we start talking about Sean Spicer who is uh, the press secretary now. So he's the guy who talks to the press kind of for the president. And uh, by the, I think it was breaking news that morning that he's been starting shit or continuing shit with Dip and Dots. He's had like a five year Twitter feud with Dip and Dots. He was like, he just tweeted, Dip and Dots is not the ice cream of the future. But the thing is, I tend to agree with him on this particular issue because I think Dip and Dots are garbage. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. There's no situation where I would opt for Dip and Dots. I haven't had Dip I'd rather lick the ground. But so the question we asked you guys is, do you hate Dip and Dots too? And as luck would have it, nope, everybody thinks they're fine. Uh, M, for example, <laughs> says, I love Dip and Dots. You could fight me, Falzone. Anybody know where M lives? Brandon Clark said, Mike used to be my favorite, but then he voiced his opinion on Dip and Dots, and now I hate him and will never watch another video he's in. Well, he's not going to see this one. So How many here, times have I think this is just the Dip and Dots representative who snuck into the comments <laughs> and is like, well, right, guys? Let's not uh, watch Mike anymore. What was the next video? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> On Tuesday, the 24th, we did a story called World's First Cookie Dough Shop Opened. Why? Why? I just like to change it up Why? now and then. Candace and I covered this. There was a, a cookie dough shop. The yeah. question was, would you guys go to a cookie dough shop? Deadly on 15 said no. This is not right. You are supposed to eat cookie dough alone and sad, <laughs> not happily and in public. Check your privilege, cookie dough eaters. This dude was too sad to even start any of these sentences with uh, no. letters. Steph1019 said, a place to go eat just cookie dough and not get sick is all I've ever wanted. After watching this video, I immediately went to their website to see if they shipped nationally. They do. They do? They do. The place is called do, but it's actually called dough, but it's spelled D-O with a line over the O. It's pronounced fuck. It's pronounced <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, January 1st. Nope. <laughs> Wednesday, January 25th. <laughs> Guess who wrote your favorite songs? Hint. <laughs> it wasn't the singers. Spoiler alert, it was probably Richard Marks. <gasps> Stretch. I'm awake. I'm awake. 15 more seconds, Danny. I don't do it. Yeah, I'm getting right. <laughs> Wednesday, Ooh. January 25th. What happened, Candy? 17. Basically, Ava and I were just talking about in this video that, uh, you know, there's singers that sing songs, but it doesn't mean they wrote the songs, and other singers wrote those songs. Boom. So the Boom. question of the video was who is your favorite musical artist? Do you think the. <laughs> Woo, now I'm too awake. If you see a really adorable person singing a song, they didn't write that shit. 
a way older, more seasoned, heartbroken, grizzlier person wrote that song <laughs> and gave it to a good-looking, polished teenager with an Instagram following. And that's how the music industry works. <laughs> the other question was, do you think more artists should be writing their own songs? No. Okay. Have you guys ever watched American Idol? Mm-hmm. No. Buddy said, there was a point where I stopped worrying about if an artist wrote their own songs or not. I don't care if you're a talentless husk, as long as you get some talented people to make to make the songs for you. It says to make twice. It does. A good song is a good song, no matter who wrote it. I've never heard of someone calling someone a husk. Never before. There are a lot of, in the comment sections of the source book videos, a lot of insults that I never heard before. <laughs> Doesn't mean that they don't exist, it's just I haven't been called them and I've been called so many things. Natalie says, if they incorporate some unique talent, I'd still consider them an artist. What, like singing? Dot, dot, dot. Otherwise, they're just very hot robots. Robots can't sing, man. I had a speaking Dude. spell and that thing had a shitty Have voice. Have you ever asked Siri to sing for you? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey. Sing for me. How many series are hanging out you right now? My Mine said you wouldn't like it. Tell her to do it anyway. Siri, I need you to sing right <laughs> now. Oh God. She responded with one exclamation mark. <laughs> what if she it's does really just like a real creative. scared voice? <laughs> a real nervous, scared <laughs> voice. Jen and I laugh. Jenna R says, the one thing I liked about Justin Bieber just became the 10th thing I love about Ed Sheeran. Oh, because Ed Sheeran wrote one of Justin Bieber's hit songs, you Love Yourself. Yourself. Okay. That one. You know what's weird about Love Yourself? It doesn't have like a fast rap speaking Cockney part. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I kiss you in the basement. My name's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Go down to Venice ride in a gondola. Talk about Legos. I made a girl pregnant. He has a song called Lego House. Lego House. Yeah. And I kicked it, kicked it down the stairs in my grandma's house. Let's go to the last one thing. We gotta, we gotta get out of there. Right. Danny, I'm not done with this Ed Sheeran <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, 125 Seninine. YouTuber promises sex tape for 1 million subscribe years. What's this all about, Avis and Kanda? We posted this video yesterday. A YouTube girl made a video at 32,000 subscribers. Her name's Lena. She uploaded a video saying that she would uh, post her a sex tape as long as she and her partner, Adam22, made, uh, got 1 million subscribers. Oh, sh what if they break up before then they're forced to have sex? They're not a couple. They just have sex. Nice. Both of you guys don't get herpes before this happens. Don't. What? Is this what the question really was? Is that I f***ed up? Maybe I wrote it. Ooh, anyway. old school Mike Bell's on up in here. Yeah, this is exactly what it was like. If the girls leave the couch, it will be exactly what it was like. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. And I love you. I love Legos. My brother made my grandma pregnant. Legos in the basement. Never got very far on Zelda. Never really got Zelda. Played at my friend's house. Mom wouldn't buy me Zelda. Bought me bases. Bought me bases loaded. But bases loaded four. I didn't even know if they came out with bases loaded. One, two, three. Original NES. No one gets my references. Legos. Legos. What was this video about? And so, keep playing. We'll <laughs> ride this out. Tony Gaming said, if I reach one million subscribers, I'll have my penis and nose surgically removed and replace them. Penis where nose is and nose where penis is. I don't wanna see that guy's penis. Rhiannon and Emily said, I don't have the confidence nor the body to promise to release a sex tape if I hit one million subscribers. If that's what she wants, power to her. She doesn't have a body. She doesn't have <laughs> confidence <laughs> or a body. Listen guys, as just a head, I find this video <laughs> offensive. I'm just a head. Get my body out of Legos. My brother got my grandma pregnant. <laughs> the shit show said, I like it when YouTubers do something special for hitting big milestones, but promising porn is a cheap and lazy way to get subscribers. Hey. Damn, you just roasted them. Hey, that's <laughs> Damn, I'm recognizing your roast. I have to go to the bathroom. Who it's said it was really cheap bad. and lazy? <laughs> I'm gonna poop my pants. <laughs> Kenneth's gonna poop her pants. Kenneth's gonna poop her pants. Kenneth's gonna poop her pants. I'm trying to Welcome back 
to source fed. It's the end of the show. <laughs> Thank Welcome you. back to the very end of the Thank video. Thank you so much for watching this video and leaving your comments and giving us art. If you'd like to send us more art, do it on any platform really with the hashtag comcom, C-O-M-C-O-M. -C -O -M, and we'll see it and we'll put it in here. Maybe. <laughs> That's all I got because I'm really trying not to shit right now. Five, six, seven. Eight. No, eight, I thought we were just saying our favorite numbers. I like three. Eleven. Five, seven, eight, mostly. Nine. Five is good. Canna's gonna poop her pants. Canna's gonna poop her pants. That's, That's where she pants. is right now. She's in the bathroom. She's pooping right now. Hopefully she took down her pants before she let the poop come out. Did you just laugh? You know what? Straighten this up. If I'm gonna come back on Monday, you straighten all yourselves out. Straighten all yourselves out and grow. Time to grow up. I had a great time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you jinxed it. It's gonna be a bad day. I think that's what they're Rat saying. Radcat Fever said, I ditched school, but not because it was Friday the 13th, but because I'm a straight up thug, but also because <laughs> Lena the Plug uploaded a video on January 17th, 2017, promising to post a sex tape when she reaches 1 million subscribers. But there's a catch.